and the child comes to you and is buying you base limousine bmw and you do not have the chest to ask about where this person got the money from but you have the nerve to come and be meeting me what am i doing with my life brothers and sister mr and gentleman sit down somewhere they'll be like ah, are you not eating are they not feeding you well I Guys, welcome back to the live stream. My name is Ruth Agbeke, and today I'm back with another reaction video. But you know what? Before we get there, if you're yet to subscribe, why? Why are you not subscribe? Please make sure you subscribe and also make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll be alerted anytime I upload. And to those that have been subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in and coming back again to watch my video. And please, 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 I have a favor to ask. Please make sure you click the like button. It helps a lot. So after saying all this, let's get straight into the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to a video about, um, let me just confirm again. Let's finally address the toxicity of African aunties. I'm going to link the original video down below. You can also watch it when you're done with this reaction. I really want to know what they have to say because I'm of a certain age and um, I'm from an African. Of course, I'm Nigerian, so I'm African. So I want to understand if we are all experiencing the same thing. So also don't forget to comment down below. Give your own opinions, what you think and everything. So yeah. Let's get straight into the video. Raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by an African auntie. I. 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 You already know what it is. Welcome back to my channel. I brought my girls here today because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. 2020, we need to address the culture, the fucking of devils of our culture, the culture of hating African aunties. Mm. They're your biggest haters, you know. A quick disclaimer before we get into this video. I, mean, I won't say they are devils, Sha. You know, I have respect, but <laughs> some people, mm, they act like they are they are in conjunction with the devil. Yeah. Not all African aunties are haters. No, all of them. All of them. Not all, all of, them. of them. Not all of them. It's just all for the them. sake of the disclaimer. Not all African aunties are haters, but we are. Oh yeah, and in case you don't understand, when Africans say auntie, we're not necessarily talking about our dad's elder brother, that's elder sister. I say brother. Roots. Our dad's elder sister. Uh, sister. Our parents' sisters. We're not talking. Auntie in African society or community is just basically anybody in old enough to give birth to you to be your elder sister, but most likely old enough to give birth to you. So, yeah. Specifically talking about those ones that oh, are. Can I start? Can I start? Okay, go. You see? Woo! You should have never walked me for this video. Because oh, I've got points for the video. Um, I'm sorry, Auntie. Oh, this is a your so every time you see me, you wanna come and tell me, oh my sister, you've gained weight. You had a whole baby and it's been 18 years. You haven't lost the weight. Perfect. We're still looking at it. We're forced to look at it. So you telling me that I need to lose weight, sis. Do you wanna do this together? Or you wanna you want me to be a gym partner? We can do this. I'll be in a good ass. Do you want us to go to the gym together? Don't worry, I can pay for the subscription fee. It's actually so funny how they are so quick to talk about your weight. Like, it's really, really funny to me. Like, why must you talk? Somebody is fat, especially after pandemic, after I say pandemic, after COVID. Oh my God. Of course, we knew everybody was at home. What were you expecting? Ha, what is Sonrao? What is Shekbao? I'm like, I'm at home all day and I'm not doing anything. What were you expecting? And funny enough, it's the same people that if you get slim, like if you're so thin, they'll be like, ah, are you not eating? Are they not feeding you well? Are you not this thing? And in case you don't know, in African, okay, let me just say, I'm not going to say African. In Nigeria, you being, f will I say fat? I won't say fat. You having a little bit of fat of your body is equivalent to that you have money. I see the standard of beauty everywhere all over the world is different. So that's I'm like. 
is equivalent to you having money. But if you overdo, it's another thing. But that time, that is when it's equivalent to you having money is when you have kids. I don't know how to explain. But if you are not a, if you are not married yet or anything, they will say you are getting fat. If you are too thin, they will say, are you sick? Do you have a child? <laughs> See? Being, in, being an African is a spot on its own. <laughs> it's a spot on its own. And now you've come and pointed down insecurity and when you look worse than me Perfect. You've had six kids. I don't like it when they feel like they can critique your life when their son is in jail Perfect. I'm not shading nobody I'm But I feel nobody. like you're coming to critique my life and you want to now do a sit-down intervention with me and my family When you had a baby at 18? No, but when your kids are running around roaming the streets Your son is the biggest drug dealer in town And you're there breaking, oh my god my son bought me a new house My son bought me a new car with what money? It belongs to George Bush Okay. Let's talk about those people. I don't understand. Like, your child doesn't have a job. First of all, you'd not see office. You'd not see. <sighs> to even be honest, this same child probably came out with. I don't want to say what I want to say. No shade. But she maybe third class degree. I don't even know. Like this person has not even graduated from university. Let me use that. And the child comes to you and is buying you base limousine, BMW, and you do not have the chest to ask about where this person got the money from. But you have the nerve to come and be meeting me. What am I doing with my life, brothers and sister, Mister and gentleman? Sit down somewhere. Where did your son get the money from? Did he tell you that it has a job? Like she said, maybe it's from George Bush. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. Do you know why I'm even taking this thing personal? Because there was one time I did a all on my video. Like I did a clothing all on my YouTube channel. There's somebody somewhere. See, I'm not going to mention him. Now I went to call my father. Ha! Your daughter. Is she know where did she get the money from? Uh, sister, did you send me money? Or did they say there was one money in your account on your house that was missing that it took? See. 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 <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I love my father. My father just told him that, told her that maybe sponsored that sent that the money and just ended it today. And that's why the Bible says, remove the the speck in your eye. Um, sorry, remove the log in your eye before you remove the speck in another person's eye. Some of them is like they don't see what is going on in their own household, but they know what is going on in another person's household. Mister and Mrs. Amable. No, Mr. Mrs. Amable, like, mind your business. You like to do this thing where you want to give advice, you know, what somebody is doing with their life, stuff, which is appreciated. Which they've never done. Yeah. Things that they've never done, you want to give but advice. But your own life is a mess. Perfect. You're not making enough money. You're dependent on your money in Africa. Where, I don't know. I'm saying no, Africa no. because it could be nice. Your husband goes to Tottenham. Your husband is outside of the bed and shop, moving to me. And yeah, me. I was gonna say but that. You as wanna well. give me advice? Your husband scary. doesn't even love you. You wanna say to me, like, my daughter, my daughter, what do you wanna do with your life? Like, what is it that you're doing? You know, you can't. I'm scared of your husband. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? When do you know what? No comments. When will your life start? I did. It's not me that said it. To. They said it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like pushing marriage on me when yours didn't work out. Oh, perfect. Like everybody, 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 pick a hand to shake. Pick a hand to shake. You're divorced, but it's me that should get married at 17. And the thing is, like, I respect the aunties that can know that their marriage is not working and go through divorce. Thank you. Most of 
you, you are scared, you can't even divorce your husband that has cheated on you your whole life. Shame, shame. You've had kids with multiple Perfect. people, your big mummy number 10, Perfect. and then you want to be saying, oh, marriage, when will you get married? My sister, when is your own marriage going to work? Thank you. When? Because that's the thing, your husband that. has moved to me, me personally, me. Your husband has moved to me. Okay, me. Listen, I wanna when I was 14, my boobs were growing. I was a kid. I can't. <sighs> they really came for these people. See, again, this is not our own answers. Like, I have lovely answers in my case. Like, it's just some weird ones, which, you know, out of respect, you just allow it. But it's like this lady, I think her name is. No, I think her name should be Nella. I've seen her before. Now she's a big. Big it about. Um, it's like <laughs> the artists around that they should be suspecting the husband because with the way she's talking, it's like from from art to art experience. That is where she's talking from. Like mm -mm. they really did what she said they did. Well, you know what? <sighs> what my head. Let me give you an example of what this old married thing. My own case. Somebody somewhere was like, oh, marry this person. Why? Because, oh, I'm not, I don't like the person. Oh, she was like, no, just marry, give birth to children. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But at least you have a child from the marriage. I'm like, is that the, the, <laughs> the ending of marriage? Like, is that what you people have reduced marriage to just to have kids? What about serving purpose with your partner? What about doing kingdom things activities with your partner you drop it to as long as you have children that's it don't worry men is men i be whatever they say i can't control my body you want to now shame me about you need to cover your breast you need to cover your bum because men are going to look at you like this instead of you to talk to them. the grown men that are looking the grown men you know your son will be bringing back six different bitches fucking them upstairs in your house yeah, and it's the girl that, you that you've never met before. You find out she's African. You want to come and say, Oh, my sister, you need to cover up. You need to cover up. Your son needs to put plastic on his dick. Okay. Let's talk about why you now want to put pressure on the girl in the family to do all the housework and the boy gets to sleep in till 11. Mm. Can we just. I don't like that him like that. Or what are the ones that. The one I want to talk about that she mentioned was about, um, what did she even say? Was about, okay, those moms that your child brings five girls or six girlfriends to the house, not at the same time, but different times, and you have the nerves to be calling each of them Yawowa. Like, what is Yawowa in this situation? You called Ta Shalewa Yawowa, you called uh, Tamedu, you called. Mary Yawowa, you called Ruthie Yawowa, you called Jennifer Yawowa. And you are not even thinking of calling this guy to order and be like, how many girls are you bringing to the house? Like, where does it end? But no, when all of them come, you, you'll be calling them Yawowa, Yawowa, Yawowa. Who is really the Yawo? Like, in a way, in case you don't know, you are kind of supporting their lack of self-control because i can't say infidelity they are not married their lack of self-control like if they can't stick to one person before marriage what will not happen after marriage give like you give advice but you actually don't know what you're talking about how does that only ever sat you down to talk about it? You just you? Say, did you, you need to go to, to uni school. did you finish school <laughs> you didn't go to school and what you're talking about like they'll be trying to talk about one politics and they'll be like no actually what is the problem did you in the uk did you finish my sister you're not even allowed in the uk <gasps> But do you even know where your son is right now? Has your daughter is very talented in something like hairdressing. She's mm -hmm. come to you to say mm -hmm. to you, this is what she wants to do. She's now giving you her business idea. Mom, I want to do this. And no, you need to go and be a lawyer. A doctor. This is why they don't come to you. You don't want to support it. But then when you see that she's getting money, you lot are the first to say, give me the money. 
Okay, um, for African parents, when they ask you to be doctors, lawyers, and um, engineers, see, to be fair, I don't even blame them and I don't get angry at them because based on their experience when they were at that certain age or what they think life is all about or what they think is that is making... All I explain, to be established, you have to be in this kind of industry. So I don't really blame them because, of course, they are coming from their best interest, like your best interest, because in their head, they are like, oh, you know what? At least if all things fail, you have this degree. You know, doctors will always be needed. Nurses will always be needed. Engineers will always be needed. This kind of jobs will always be needed. That is why they encourage you to go into it. They are not okay for my own side though and the answers i know they are not thinking of well oh, give me the money all those kind of things they're just thinking of at the end of the day would you be able to take care of yourself would you be and african parents or africans they they are so attached to education because this is what they believe that education is the way to success so mm, to be fair i can't even say what they're saying yes and i appreciate the love that they are giving you they are paying your school fees that they know that to just make sure you are okay later in the future and don't get me wrong we have the rotten ones that they are thinking of how you you take care of them in the future not how you you should be established for your own um future so yeah content creating just came online and they really don't understand and in nigeria most of these actors and actresses don't even have much so it's just more of paparazzi more of social media platform kids here they don't understand why they're getting beats they're just getting beats oh, they're like mommy hates me mommy hates me now if you communicate to your child okay the bed needs to be made because it's going to make you feel better on yourself mm -hmm. like all of these simple things but you're just beating your child because they're 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 and you can punish them in other ways that will actually okay. hurt them like mm -hmm. confiscating a phone that makes more sense confiscating phone oh, xbox not going out yeah, not going out. Like, that hurts more than beating me like I'm an animal. Exactly. Perfect. All the child's gonna do. Right. What you got, guys? Um, when it comes to the whole punishment thing, I understand what they're saying. Sometimes some people just beat you for no reason. You'll not be asking, why did you beat me? Why are you beating me? What is the exact reason for the beating? They can't really explain. So I agree in that point. Like when you're training up your kids, like correction at least correct them tell them what they have been corrected about and there are other ways to do this for my dad he doesn't beat us for my own dad he doesn't beat us but for, if my father calls you to sit down hey i don't like it i'll be like you know what beats me i know that the beating after 30 minutes starts disappear but the talking hmm, is going to be eating the next you always even sometimes when I do some things here, yeah, I'm like, hmm, what will Mr. Agbeke say? Yeah, most of them talk unnecessarily. Mm. Why nobody asked you? Nobody will never look at Yeah, like it's just so weird to me because it's like it's so unprovoked. Like, at that point where you're talking your unnecessary nonsense, putting someone down, you don't know what they're going through. Like, why is it appropriate for you to put us down and then we can't say nothing out of respect? Exactly. It's like we can't say nothing out of respect and you know that. It's see that thing actually pisses me off like based on like i think <sighs> they've done respect to abuse at some point like there are some things you want to say but because as an african or as an nigerian you can't say it because like you're thinking am i crossing the respect line but you can't say how you feel i'm not saying using i'm not saying using abusive words i'm not saying using um you know bad degrading words i'm not in i don't you do that but i'm just saying you trying to explain your feelings and everything but if you try to explain it to the way you want to say it it's, it sounds like you are disrespecting so now the best thing as a nigerian or african you just as they are saying talk 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 talk, talk. you just keep your mouth shut you can't even explain your own part because if you explain your own part it's not be like ha so I'm talking, you are talking. Who is the eh, the eh? Who is the somebody, somebody here? Eh? Children of nowadays, you people lack respect. You people lack respect. How will I be talking and you are talking? How will an elder... And you're just simply trying to correct them and tell them... To let them see is your point jealousy? of view, but you know what? Is it big? Is that, what is it? They never looked like us when they were our age. I personally feel like it's a generational curse. Like their mums were like that. Their mums oh, were right. kind of like... Hard. 
down. Mm, do you know what? I don't think that. Simply because we have seen their behavior, and the first thing we say is, I'll never be like that with my daughter. Yeah. I'll never be like that. With you mom. know how it is to be a woman. Why would you make it harder for the women that are to in your life? Like, I don't understand that. But, that point, I'll never understand that. It's not even about answers. Women in general. Like, I just don't get it. Like, how do you make it other for another fellow woman? Uh, you know the situation. You know what they've gone through. You've been there before. But no, some people just... I don't know. I don't know. I guess we live to see another day. Yeah, and I'm just happy that I feel like as the generation is going down, it is becoming less like that. So, you know, I'm waiting for them to all die out. Die. <laughs> my sister. My sister. The culture of African aunties, as much as we respect sure. them and love them, it's top sick. Like you girls out there, we feel your pains. Mm. We know what you're going through. Comment down below. Let us know what, what the most toxic thing an African auntie has said to you yeah. or done to you. Yeah. And when you're gonna be reading through the comments, you're gonna be like, I relate, I relate, I relate. One hundred percent. And also, give this video a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. If you think <laughs> African aunties need to change, give this video a big thumbs up. You know up. what? I'm going to go through the comment section. Dear black families, your daughters are not made. Stop using culture as an excuse. Thank you. <laughs> African aunties don't believe in creative arts. Mm. Yeah. Then let's just take the last one. Let's take the last one. Aunties love to talk about how dark your skin is as if we didn't know that they bleach every inch of their bodies. That one. Mm. That one. <laughs> that one there. Eh? anyways so guys i've i think that's the end no i think that's actually the end of the video from what they said comment down below like they said if you have any experience from any auntie or any relative that did you bad for me i really can't relate to most of it because i didn't really live around family and again the reason for those that are not africans the reason why we call them aunties just that in africa we believe that community is how you raise your children all those kind of things so everybody's auntie everybody's daddy mommy even the person that is not my daddy i call them daddy the person that is not my mom i call them mommy you know because they would they can they have the ability or they are capable of being that person in my life so yeah i understand what they are saying and again to them some of these aunties they think these things come from the place of love but they overdo it they overdo it they overdo it they overdo it so let me know what you guys think in the comment section please make sure you give this video a thumbs up please and please and please and please i did beg you give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next coming video and if you have any other video that you like me to react to comment down below or send me an email at life clue contact the gmail or is ad send um, <laughs> send me a message on instagram at anuluakwa nice is one or doing life with ruth and i'll see you guys in the next coming video Bye.